Okay, we have another question before us. Question 6. Simplify 1 over 3 minus root 2 in the form of p plus q root 2. So we have option A, 7 over 3 minus 1 over 7 root 2. B, 7 over 3 plus 1 all over 7 root 3. C, 7 over uh, 3 over 7 rather, minus 1 all over 7 root 2. Option D, 3 over 7 plus root 2 over 7. So we have this. Let's go straight into the uh, work. So we have solution. Now let's copy what we have there. 1 all over 3 minus root 2. Minus root 2. Now we are asked to solve this in this form. So well, before you even look at the form, what we have here is, uh, is this equation from SORT and uh, the denominator here is in SORT form. So what we can simply do is to multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugates of this SORT. What I mean by conjugate, uh, if you have a negative in this case now, you multiply the numerator and denominator by the positive of this. If it's a positive, multiply the, both, uh, the numerator and denominator by the uh, negative this but, but in this case now is a negative so we are going to multiply the numerator by the positive of this of this so we have 3 plus root 2 so we multiply the top so 1 times the whole of this we have uh, 3 plus root 2 now divide by now I'm going to show you uh, something very simple. Now when we have two sort, these are like, uh, this is negative, this is positive. We can actually use a short uh, form to do that. So let's take it, let's create a boss here to do what I want to show you now. So I'm going to take, since this and this are the same, just the difference of their sign. Take the negative, the one with the negative, that is 3 root 2. Square both of them. I'm going to square this. So the square of 3 is 9 minus the square of root 2 is 2. You know that root 2 times root 2 is uh, 2. So 9 minus 2 is 7. Because this is actually an OBJ exam. So you can actually look, look at a uh, simple and easiest way to solve them. So instead of using this to, uh, to multiply through the auto expand this. So that's going to take a little time. So with this, I have 7. So if you actually expand this, this times this, if you expand it, you're going to get 7. So with this, you can solve that very fast. So let's move on. Now, I'm going to separate this. I'm going to try to separate this. So this will be 3 all over 7 divided by 7 plus root 2 all over 7. And this already has answered our equation. And this is in the form... This is also or this is actually our answer, which is D. We are asked to leave in this form. But actually, if you were to arrange it correctly to get in this form of P and that, you're supposed to have 3 over 7, which is the same with this, plus 1 over 7 root 2. So, so that this can be, this one will become your P, P, and this will become your Q. So that is what you're supposed to have. So that your P would have been 3 over 7 and your Q would have been 1 over 7. So there are some other questions you may be asked to find either the sum of P and Q or just find P and find Q. So whichever one, but in this question, we're actually asked to simplify, which is what we did. And we have this. So the correct answer to that question, like we said, is option D. So that is the correct answer to that question.